I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am so excited about the brand new graphical update to this game that the developer Mike has been working on for quite a long time. Uh, and I'm really anxious to reveal that to you both in the way the town looks, the whole thing, and then we now have damage numbers on the towers and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into that real quick, but we're going to start a brand new game since we have never done... Kuro Island, which is island number three. So let's go ahead and start the game. All right, we are here on our island. We have just arrived. We crashed our ship. Um, and I want to take a look at one thing before we start the game. Uh, and that is our citizens. Now, you might recognize some prefixes and suffixes um, because I was one of the first people to find this outside the test group that the parents donated parts of their names to their children uh, the developer gave me the chance to add a, either a prefix or a suffix to these name to the name pool and I of course chose sky and sky storm was also given the chance and he has a storm uh, suffix. So wouldn't it be fun? This is funny if we could get these two people or some people to have a sky storm uh, Offspring somewhere that would be hilarious. By the way, if you're interested in more content on this game Do check out sky storms channel. He's pretty awesome and uh, we've been kind of um, Yeah, talking recently about this game that we just love it so much So anyway, let's see what we can do with our peoples as you can notice There's a lot of changes to the interface. Is this not gorgeous? It's so nice and we also have adult population children's uh, ch children's population. <laughs> I was going to say kits, but there are children, adults listed right up here at the top. And there's so many changes here. Um, as we can see, like this has a background now. Remember, I was always like moving the camera to like see the numbers. It looks so much better now. Uh, the developer has been working so hard on getting things uh, sorted out. The game is also less like misty or fuzzy and you can see things a lot clearer. And um, we're going to look at the textures of some of the buildings very shortly. But first, we have foxes on the beach. What are they going to do? Let's look at this island. Uh, this is kind of a wild island. It's got some crazy, crazy, uh, yeah, uh, not much building space. <laughs> it is a very pretty island. But man, what are we going to do with this? All right, so we have uh, the rivers going up here. We have another river coming from this mountain. We have the monster gate right by the boat. This is a bad place to park, folks. Uh, but we're, we're going to have to deal with it. So let's go ahead and get started with our population. I'm going to go ahead and choose the first research. We do not have the research hut yet. But the first one I'm going to go with is child mentorship. Because education is so important. And this allows parents to educate their kids at home. And therefore, even if we don't have a school and a schoolmaster or a teacher, they can start educating them. All right. I want to go with... Um, Let's start with three farms. I would really like to do that. So I think I'm going to start kind of over here, maybe. Uh, this seems okay. Let's go ahead and start here. A little bit away from the gate. But this is what we want to start off with first. We also want to start off with having two farmers. Let's start with one builder, one lumberjack, and then one miner and one researcher. Now, as we discussed in previous episodes, um, people, if they do not uh, have something to do in their profession, they will carry stuff around. So they're all going to carry wood to make these farms, and then we're going to set up the rest of our buildings. But this at least gives the farmers something to do. They can start planting which is really important because we start in spring and that's the month that the itchy root needs to, to be planted now the reason i did two farmers is because itchy root has a thing where it is uh planted in spring with a summer harvest and planted again in summer so they have to deal with these fields twice and one farmer can generally handle about three and a half fields so we have three fields two farmers is necessary for the summer months but after that we can definitely go to one farmer okay i want to put in the research lab maybe somewhere around here i think Let's just put it maybe there. The research lab can be quite far away from other things because it basically needs just a person to work with it, but it doesn't need any materials. So I'm not worried about getting anything in there. Now I do want to put in a mine over here. Mine is going to be super important so we can start building basically anything else, including 
uh, things like trees, oh, not trees, uh, houses. Houses need stone. So yeah, that's an important uh, thing. Also, the research lab does need stone as well. So these are the primary things. Let's get these guys going for now and uh, make sure that these get built first. Uh, we can also put in a couple of storage barns. That's a good, good item to kind of stick in here. Let's put this one maybe there. Sure. I want to kind of build it close, but also give this ruin some, some space. Let's build this uh, storage barn like right here in line with these fields. And so if people don't have stone yet, they can contribute to making those barns and things. Uh, the other thing we can do is set up a few uh, tree nurseries. I'm going to go ahead and set them up starting like here, I think. Let's just do one row here on green first. Okay, let's just adjust those to coniferous trees so people can kind of, yeah, send some of the lumber this uh, this way for these if, if, we, uh, if we can. And I learned something very interesting because I kind of meowed a bit about like, okay, I, I, all I've seen is coniferous trees are growing fast. And then I was thinking about deciduous trees like, you know, regular oak trees, which grow very, very slowly. And the developer pointed me to a page that was basically the fastest growing trees and the top few were actually deciduous trees so he just decided to make that choice and i'm like oh okay cool all right i didn't know that so i learned something about trees that i i don't know i think most games kind of maybe um choose very specific trees as in a regular oak not a live oak which grows very slowly and then certain kinds of pine or spruce they grow quite quickly so anyway, that's a thing. So this is waiting on uh, nothing. It needs no more materials. So let's go ahead and build. We need to build three houses pronto. Uh, let's go ahead and start those. Let's put them here. And I am putting them on highest priority and that's because we need them before winter. Otherwise our, our poor little foxes are gonna die off and that's bad. Yeah, that is it's definitely bad when they die off <laughs> oh my god so anyway let's let's get that going let's make sure this is on stone yes it is okay good good that is just fine and what we can also do is if we have an extra worker we could empty out this boat and bring all the stuff here though it's not strictly necessary because um we can also build walls and stuff from the wood that's in that boat if we need to. All right, so, but we are building these. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. The houses are coming. Okay, so research lab. We did choose child mentorship, so they're going to start working on that. That's very, very good. Quite happy about this. And here you can see one of the new designs. The houses and buildings are much lighter, much easier to see the, the wonderful architectural details. And they all have different colored roofs as well. The roofs kind of uh, correspond to their uh, function, as in um, the uh, houses had, have red roofs. And I think there are some like purpley gray. And then there's also the gold roofs. And they are very nice. Let's see. Let's go for... hmm. Oh boy, there's a couple of things. So multi-season crops is really important, but we don't need it before spring because we plant the next crop in the spring. Uh, prepared raw food is awesome. We want to get that as soon as possible, but we also have construction logistics, which allows people to carry additional resources for where they're going. So I feel like that's super, super important. Also, we have defensive structures, which is kind of critical to doing a lot of things, but we have a bit of time before the enemies invade us. Um, so let's go with that for now. We have, there's going to be, there is going to be a little bit of a mismatch, which is going to be we're going to have more wood than we are stone because right now we only have one mine and one miner and um so we're gonna to have to balance that with stuff which i tend to like to just either add like these um 
tree tree growing areas or the storage barns or we can add the defensive structures which we will get to shortly but i don't believe that the uh, monsters will attack us in the first year so we have a tiny bit of time to wait before they actually come after us so i changed all of these no i did not okay let's change them to coniferous trees i like to have the greater amount of wood because it's only a tiny bit of extra time uh, to get that wood to grow there okay so schooling is done let's get construction logistics we don't need larger classes right now because we don't even have schools right now yay um all right so let's go ahead and what do we want to do next i kind of want to save this area for farms in general um so I think what we can do, though, is put a school out here because schools in general are, um, they again, they don't use any resources. Let's put this on a green priority. And we we're, we're not going to have any teachers initially. So uh, we'll ju we're just going to build the building to have it. But I think it needs mortar. Yes, it needs mortar. So we don't even have that tech yet. But it's an, again, it's another one where they can deliver stuff if they have no stone to contribute to these other buildings one of the things i really love about the ui and this was in the previous version as well is that if you needed something it'll glow red on your uh your uh, colony goods list and that's like oh wait a second i need that thing i i really love that part of it okay so it is now fall i'm gonna go ahead and fire one of these farmers we really do not need another farmer i'd rather have another builder instead in fact i'd rather have a teacher but we don't have any um, any schools yet, so they can't actually teach anyone. So builder is good because a builder goes straight for the building site and makes, uh, makes things happen, basically. They go and build the structures, they carry the materials straight there. The general workers, uh, they will carry stuff like, if there are boxes of food here, they will carry that to the uh, storage area and that's their their main job or like this stone would go into that barn well once the barn is finished of course um, but otherwise builders will carry building materials to specific building sites all right so now that our people are you know what I'm not gonna put in any extra houses yet we're just gonna like chill here for a bit because we have right now we have everybody has a home but you never know, some of these people kind of like decide to have miniature foxlets and they get together and it's like they need a home. So no research. Let's go back here and see what we have here. Let's go ahead and get defensive structures because I really would like to start building the maze for the monsters. That's going to be kind of important here. All right, people, yep, doing stuff. Okay, and our tree farms are working. I'm now going to go ahead, since we don't have the research for that stuff yet, let's go ahead and build some more tree nurseries. We'll just do this on the layer below. Uh, like right there-ish. I don't know if we have some space up here. No, we don't. Okay, but we can go all the way down if we want to. Like this way, maybe even fit some in up here, maybe. Hello? No? Out of- no. Oh, oh, there's a spot. There's a spot. Hey, we'll have- we'll have trees on the ridge line. It's fine. Okay, and then, uh, no, that doesn't work. This sometimes um, works. Let's see, we could put some here, though. That one really does not want to have a- uh, a farm there. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and- uh, we'll just go ahead and, um, run the game while I'm changing these over. Oh, wait, why? Why? Hello? Everybody has a home. I don't know why anybody is freezing. They're probably just forgot about what snowflakes do to you, and then they make you cold. So they're gonna go home and they're gonna warm up. So deal with it, people. Go, go, go. We cannot have people getting ill or stuff on my watch. Nope. Not a thing. Okay, let's go. Let's get coniferous trees going here. And our farmers are going to plant these things and uh, make sure that we have trees growing for the next thing. Okay, so let's get the multi-season crops. That's also really important to do so that in the winter we can start, yeah, 
planting stuff. So we did get defensive buildings, which is great. My thought is I want the monsters to come up here and then kind of come down. So let's put, let's see, the closest we can do stuff is here. So I want to grab, let's see, get these walls here just to block off that section. And they can come through that tiny space. And then I want to have a small arrow tower like here. So, and hopefully we'll get them coming back up again. That's the thought. We don't have paths to illustrate this just yet, but we should be getting them shortly. Let's see. This is... Um, yeah, we're going to get stuff soon. It'll soon TM, right? <laughs> so this is going to be kind of cool. We can we can get them going kind of both ways up up and down this maze section here. I'm going to use as many of these obstacles as we can because these things are you can't walk through them and neither can the monsters. OK, we're going to get prepared raw food that will help our people immensely. They it removes the debuff for raw food. As we can see here, minus 10% speed and minus 10% carrying. Uh, education is the worst thing, I think, because they have minus work efficiency. So we got to get rid of that ASAP. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, um, well, the springtime when maybe we're going to have more foxlets join us or more people growing up anyway, so that we get more people in our workforce and who can do stuff. Now, since we got the multi-season crops, let's choose sand fruit. It's much easier to care for and it's only going to require one of our farmers. So we do have only one farmer. They can plant the crop, I believe, in the spring and then they have a winter harvest for this. So that's going to be perfect for one farmer to take care of these three fields. That's going to be nice. Okay, so here is our maze so far. And I'm going to put in a wall here. Uh, sure. Let's go and take this this away. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and let them finish this tower first. And then they can do some of the other stuff. All right, prepared raw food we have now. Uh huh. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff that we need to do next. Let's get, let's get the city planning and the paths because I feel like that's quite important. So this thing can hit them over here as well. My my goal is to get a U-shaped uh, pathway for them to go through. Okay, there is our thing. Now we can build. Let's build this wall here and then we can use that that's fine and do this kind of thing and go up like uh, this okay and we don't actually have to build the corner walls we can kind of cheat a little bit there with stuff um, because the monsters cannot get through the corners and I don't think our foxes can either but yeah there is a tiny gap, but apparently too small of a gap for the monsters to like try to shimmy through. Like you can imagine a monster trying to shimmy through that. <laughs> okay, we have Sasha Reichstorm has grown up and is entering the workforce. Okay, we have, let's see, Tobias Paraclar and Khalid Oralame are born to our citizens. We now have citizens without a home. This is bad. Okay, so we need to get a home. I don't think that they're going to start or uh, freeze in this weather. I think they're going to be fine in general. Let's go ahead and make this the front line here. Let's make two houses. I am happy that we have one tower at least. Hopefully we'll be able to have enough uh, stone. But yeah, we have, yeah, this is kind of annoying. Water gem was discovered. That's great. We have our first gem. This is actually a really good one. Water gems um, do. They have an increased damage from all sources with a stacking effect. And you can see the numbers right there. So this is another of the improved visuals that we have. The developer decided to add the numbers to stuff. So if we look at this small arrow tower, damage of 25, range 21 units. And I'm not sure what that means exactly, because it's clearly not 21 tiles. 
Um, but whatever the units are, that's what it is. And it has a 1.2 second attack rate and it will tell us the total damage once it's actually been to war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hope they finish this wall. That would be a nice one. But we def definitely need these houses going on. So I hope I'm not going to build any more walls until they get those houses done. Uh, mostly they're going to finish this stuff first, I think. Uh, and that's because we have a ready supply of the wood and the stone is quite close as well. Oh, they got this one. That's nice. But they need to finish up this corner. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble with the monsters. Uh, oh, we have no research going. Oh, no, this is bad. Um, okay, so what do we want? We want cloth, cooked food. Cloth is a good one, but again, it's planted in spring. So that's kind of useless right now. Let's get the paths. Now we do have the uh, gong, which I forgot to listen to. I don't know, remember if I even heard it, but we have that coming along. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one to a small arrow tower, but I'm going to leave it until we get these houses up. Because I think this one arrow tower can probably handle the first wave. We have a really nice maze going. Oh, level one minotaur. Oh, wow. Already? Really? A minotaur? Okay, sure. Whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what damage this minotaur does. Uh, and also you can see the Minotaur. Look at the, look at the levels here. We can see the HP. I'm going to pause while it doesn't die. Um, but you can also see the fire damage per second amount because that's a, um, uh, yeah, a, a damage over time kind of thing. Water damage increase, ice, uh, speed reduction, life size reduction. And then of course the Terra damage increase. So this one arrow tower is going to easily defeat this Minotaur. And it's kind of cool to actually see the HP go down. And I'm so, so like excited about that interface. It looks really, really nice. And I think the developer did a great, great job on that. And, um, I don't know. I think the game is like so much fun to play it's, it's, and it's even more fun to play now I think with all of like the new interface and things look quite pretty like look at the houses don't they look warm and inviting like you can see the lights and the windows and they have these like really nice red roofs and uh, the houses are much more visible because they have like this lighter stone uh, and then you can clearly see the base of the house with the stairs and the door uh, they look really nice really nice I think we're gonna have to get some research to get mortar because that's gonna be how we upgrade stuff and I think we are going to need that. Now, I definitely want those paths. We don't have those yet. So that's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And we're also going to need another mine. Do we have, how many people do we have where? Oh, we have one general worker. Why do we have that? Oh no. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Let's put them on building for now. Okay, we got paths. What else do we want? Um... Wow, there's many things that are needed here. I think I'm gonna go for cloth so we make sure we have that ability to make farms uh, with uh, fiber because we can't build the healing hut unless we have the fiber. That's kind of important. And also healing is very important so that we get our um, longevity and also fertility of our, uh, of our little foxies. So that's kind of important. Okay, let's turn that one up, that wall. Okay, now we have one extra house. That's a little bit of breathing room, but I would love to have another extra house. So let's put down another house, even if we don't build it right away. Let's put that one there, there, and there, and we can fit one behind. Hooray. And now we can put down paths. Now I'm going to put down some of these paths because I feel like they're quite necessary for stuff. Let's see, we'll have a path to going this way. And I don't know how it's going to connect here. Let's just put a path right over the creek, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll do, we'll do that. It looks weird, but it's fine. And then one path here. We need a path to get uh, to the wood mines there. We can add that that way. Now here, somewhere here, we're going to have a gate, by the way. Oh, oh, oh my god, evil rabbits with sharp pointy teeth. Oh no. Oh no, it's hopping. Oh no, it's hopping. Oh my god, it has red eyes. Whoa. Rough times. Of course, this is this lovely Monty Python reference, and it's dead. Yay. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more, like, small arrow towers here, so that we can just feel a little bit safer when we're doing stuff. 
and we can get our research going as well. Let's see. I think I want to have... Would really like to have the blast tower. Uh, let's get the blast tower. Meow, meow. <laughs> okay, much meow, right. Let's get the charcoal. We absolutely need that first because we can't actually do anything. We can't build any of those things until we have the charcoal and then the mortar. So very important to get those things. Okay, paths are being planted. This is kind of great. Good, good. Uh, but gates are nice to get into uh, this section here. And I'm not sure if I should... What I could do is make this a huge block of towers in the middle and have like boost towers in the middle and have the path going this way. That is definitely an idea. Uh, maybe we should. Let's see. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe we want much more pathing. Let's see if we can draw this out. Let's go ahead and get a low-level path going on here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And this is where we have another area so far. So here, maybe we want a double wall with some boost towers over here as well. Or we can combine three sets of towers with a, with a set of boost towers in the middle. That is actually kind of appealing to me. Um, instead of having this path here, but then maybe that's not enough path to go around. So let's see what we can do here. If we add, let's just add a tiny bit here like this. Um, cause I want to have like really clustered kind of stuff going on. And then here, wow. I want to kind of, let's see. What I want to do is build a section of towers. Now this might be a really good spot for this. There is a little bit of zigzag here. We can build, I'm just going to like mark off the corners here of this. We can incorporate this thing here. So one, two, three, four, five. Is that enough? Six, seven maybe? Because mm, we can get quite a nice block of towers going. Um, and much boosting if we are lucky with stuff. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and do this. That boat is movable, removable. And then if we get this path to go around this way, we can kind of, um, we can go here and around there. And then we can go around here and then again like this and then around again just like really kind of go around this central area as much as possible um let's see this is a thing that cannot be moved so this is not good for a blast tower basically so we can actually move this path down here instead and then just take it up this way maybe so we can remove this with just press x that's the, the hotkey there and maybe even remove these tree farms later. Or we can just have them end up on this shore and like, okay, where do we go from here? And have them actually naturally come out of this maze. Um, or take this kind of path around again and come this way. I think that might be a good way of doing things. Uh, do we have enough to zigzag here? Maybe we could if we removed all this, but I kind of want to have more mines and stuff around here. I feel like that that's pretty important. All right, so this is working well. Let's get the mortar going on. And I'm going to start, let's put in a, okay, textile mill can go here because that needs some fiber. Okay, whoops, I'm going to put this in green. And then I want to have a charcoal hut. That's going to be a red. We're going to have that as a red item. Let's put that here. And then I want to have... I think we're good. Okay, we don't have anything else we really need to build. Okay, let's do that then. Let's get it going. Okay, we're now having lots more towers. Hopefully we can try to defeat these monsters and do do really well. We don't I don't know if we have enough pathing. We do have many, many towers here. And we can also increase the range of the towers quite a bit. So that's definitely on our side. 
Let's see, how far do these stretch so far? Just there. So this is going to be a double wall. Maybe we'll have our boost towers on this side and then the regular towers on this side. It's really exciting that we got a water gem first. That's fun. That Because that will do a lot for us, I think. All right, all right. Things are going well. Hooray. I also want to put one of these houses on priority. I always like to have two houses spare, just in case people grow up. Yep, definitely want them to, yep, do stuff. Do stuff and grow up and things and stuff. Yep. Let's go ahead and get another, um, maybe we want to just kind of make all of these small arrow towers for now. Okay, we got mortar. That's good. Let's go ahead and build that. Oh, that's what I was going to do is change the citizen stuff. Yeah, or the population stuff. Oh, let's go ahead and put this here. Good, good. All right, so we need to set up our job management. Let's have one less builder and start getting a charcoal burner. We really can't afford anyone else yet. We're progressing quite a bit, quite far right now, I feel. We're doing really well. Let's look at our research again, and I want to get healing. Uh, I also desperately need, well, not desperately yet, but uh, we need to get some farms for textile plants, uh, Fibera leaf. Let's get one there and there. And two is enough for Fibera leaf. And that's going to kind of put our farming in a weird spot um, because <laughs> that might be like the half a farm that they do or whatever. Um, but it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine, right? We don't need much fiber in the beginning of the game, just enough to build the healing hut. Uh, later, we're going to want more. Well, I mean, I guess we want more all the time because uh, the warm clothes help them stay warm for longer. And uh, yeah, it's a good thing to, to have there. But this is looking really good so far. I'm quite happy with the entrance to this and that they are getting hit by those towers there. All right. Come on, folks. Do your stuff. Please make these farms. Okay. So here's where we're going to choose Fibera Leaf. Man, I wish I had gotten healing earlier because healing starts uh, the, the crops in the winter time. So I kind of like, I really want to. I'm going to go ahead and put this on none for now. And hopefully this person will be able to harvest everything and then start planting the Fibera leaf. But it is winter, so I'm really worried like that they're gonna get cold and have to go home. And so you know what? We're gonna take off one charcoal burner and put on another farmer. There we go. That's gonna make less stress for us and yeah, make things work. Uh, we are already generating a little bit of charcoal, which is good. So that's nice. And these, I think we can, ah, we can leave them. It doesn't really matter. But did we get a, we did get blast, no, we didn't get blast towers yet. Okay, that's an important thing. If we get that fiber, I mean, what we can do also is get a couple of farms here uh, for, in anticipation of getting the, um, the mushrooms. Oh my gosh, we have them. Wow. Okay. Uh, life Risha mushrooms. There we go. So I guess it's time to have two farmers full time. All right, there we go. Uh, we have, that's just enough actually. Seven is, is uh, yeah, three and a half times two. So there we go. Hopefully we can build this, please help. Hurry, please. I want mushrooms, go. We like to eat mushrooms, it's good. They're great stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get more research done now. Um, sublime well-being is great because it doubles the effects of the well-being. So I wanna get that one going. All right, folks, please. Oh, level one demons. That doesn't sound good. Okay, let's hopefully get stuff going. Oh, these are purple demons. How nice. Oh, and they're getting killed quite quickly. Okay, they're dead. Yay. Oh, did we not get this? We did not. Come on, people. Can you build this, please? Go, 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 go. Hello? Oh, no, they're not going to be able to plant it. No. All right. Maybe. Maybe. What did they just, did they just drop wood here? Maybe that's, oh, maybe that's for here. Could be. Okay. So they did not build the farms. They had all day. Come on. 
Oh, uh, well, they built the house. That's good, I guess. But I really wanted them to build these farms because it would have been nice if they could plant some of those mushrooms so we didn't have to wait another entire year for this. Oh, well, it's okay. Okay, Sterling Yuva uh, has grown up. We have Brooks Paraclar, Mike Earlame, and Patrick Frenclar that were born. Okay, let's go ahead and put our new person right into charcoal burning again so that we can get that going. We're going to need two farmers, I think, because there's a lot to do. But it is spring, so we're not going to get um, those other mushrooms done, which is kind of unfortunate, but... You know, what can you do? We're doing our best, basically. And let's see, do these things reach? They do actually reach this monster path, so I can kind of uh, make these walls connect there if we want to. Seems okay. All right, things are going pretty well here, but I'm gonna want this school done soon-ish. And then we have our textile mill as well. That's going to be kind of important to get finished. Mm, okay, so we have the monsters are coming. The monsters are coming. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Would also like to get a gate wall in, but we don't have smelting yet. Oh, my gosh. I'm always getting ahead of myself here with these things. <laughs> but it's okay. It's just fine. I don't feel like I need to be neat and tidy about these corners, but I guess I will uh, for people who get bothered by that. I'm not usually bothered because I'm like, ah, it's fine. It works. You know, if it works, it works. It's done. Uh, okay, so this can actually be canceled. I'm just going to be very frugal with materials here. All right, sublime well-being. That's perfect. Uh, let's go back and look at research again. So, what do we want here? I think we want blast towers. Those are going to really improve our setup. Really important there. Okay, so let's see. Um, I guess the next thing is to put a wall here. Because occasionally these things will wander off this away to try to delete the tree farms. And if we can keep them in line, that's going to be a lot better. So let's take this and go down this way and make this also high priority. Let's see, what are we getting now? Larger our towers. What we really need is smelting, don't we? Yeah, well, we need the other towers first. Let's get the towers. And bit by bit, they're adding some of the walkway here. That's okay. It's pretty nice. I also want to build another mine. So let's do that. Let's rotate and build a mine. I guess it shouldn't be red. We'll just leave it at green for now. Ah, and here we see some of our new buildings. You see the roofs? They are yellow, which is nice. Very cool. Kind of like the industrial buildings are yellow. And then we have the mines, which have still the brown timber roofs. There we go. They are a bit coordinated with colors. Which is pretty nice. I think the, f is it the food buildings that have the uh, kind of a purpley gray color? It's really nice. Okay, let's see. We have um, this thing, which we can get going. That would be nice because we can get the healing hut afterward. In fact, I think I'm going to get the healing hut placed. So this one can be like here maybe. Let's go ahead and put this on green. And I'm going to pause to get more research. There we go. We want to get the blast tower. Yep. I guess it's not really... I think... We, wait, what do we need? F Does it tell us what we need for the blast tower? No. I think we're going to need smelting. I can't remember if we needed iron, but I'm pretty sure we did. Let's see. Large arrow towers. Yeah, they do need iron. So we need smelting before we have those other things. Well technically you can do anything in any order you want <laughs> but sometimes you're not gonna have stuff so yeah that's kind of important so let's see we have miners we are really using up all the stone we're mining uh which means we're not getting a surplus because normally what i've been doing is like trading the mine and just going to ore or stone uh, but this time we're actually using all of it, so it's a little bit rough. Okay, let's see. Let's get this Minotaur. Ha ha. Hello. All right, let's watch them just get decimated by our towers here. I love watching these new health bars. They're fun. 
They're really fun. Yeah, we need iron and steel smelting so that we can get a large arrow tower. Actually, what we could do is we can place one of these in preparation for getting a... Maybe here? Her? Yar. Yar. There. Actually, maybe here is the best place. So we're going to do a large arrow tower that's going to go there. Okay, good. Okay, very nice. So we got our smelting. Let's get steel as well. Or... Uh, let's get our blast tower. Excuse me. Give. Blast. There we go. Let's get blast towers. And then we can also get the boost towers because those do give a damage increase. Um, and those would be really nice along this wall uh, so that they could boost these guys as well as this row. And what we can do is, if we get enough of these water gems, then we can even have some bombardment towers. Like, maybe we even make, like, this section bombardment towers. And there is a boost thing that gives... Not that one. It's this one, I think. No, not that one. Increases the range of boost towers. No, no, no. Where is that thing? Oh, here it is. Increases AoE hit area radius by 1.5 units, which is kind of cool. That seems nice. So I'd really like to get that. All right. So what do we have going for... Okay, let's change this. We need to have... You know what? We really need this stone. What do, well, what we can do is actually just get this mine up and have one doing ore. Let's do some ore here so that we can start doing some mortar and get some of these buildings built. Because this large hour tower is not going to do anything until we have the materials for it. And right now we're just... The only thing we're, we're lacking really is uh, the... Um, the um, thingy thingies that I can't remember. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we're lacking people. That's what we're lacking. Okay, so here I want to make this a blast tower. Uh, and we're going to change the rotation. There we go. Make sure that it's there. And high and blast tower here. And high and confirm and high. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. It's good. Okay, let's see. There we go again. Confirm. Hi. And then blast tower. There we go. Confirm. Hi. And then we'll do this one. Okay, they can't go that way. All right, that's fine. Blast tower. Confirm. And I'll just leave that on green for now. Since, uh, yeah. What we can do also, though, is maybe make a wall here. Because um, just to make sure that they're in this path and they don't deviate. I guess we could also put one at the end as well. Like right there. Do we want to have it there? Or they probably there. Excuse me. There we go. Right there. Very good. Alright, we need research. So let's see. What do we want here? We want everything is what we want. Um, hmm. We need probably steel let's get steel because that's i think that's the last of the major building materials we need and that would be great to have so we need 20 mortar we are getting a little bit of ore so i'm going to go ahead and switch the charcoal burner into the mortar because now we have 180 and 100 so that should give us a little bit of more mortar and i'm going to go ahead and switch this back to stone because we always 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 need stone Let's see, this needs 20 mortar. Oh, we gonged again. There's our gong. But you know what? I think we're going to leave this right here, right now. We're going to leave this in the winter and figure out all the rest of this stuff. Well, maybe not all of it, but at least some of it in the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed playing this. I'm having so much fun with this game. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.